Uh-oh. Here we go, here we go. Hey, my kids, they can Come on, here we go, here we go. Here we go. God's got a river of living water, a fountain that never will run dry. Never! All right, here we go, kids. Let's go. Let's get stirred up. Come on now. We're going to dance. Come on now. Because we're stirring up deep, deep wells. Stirring up deep, deep. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to jump. Jump. I bet you can't jump high. Deep Look at Doug. Doug's getting in on it. Here we go. God's got a river of living water, a fountain that never will be dry. It's an open heaven. Your releasing, and we will never be Stir it up. Let's stir it up. Maddie, hold. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got to dance. You got to dance like David. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Stir it up. Stir it up. Jump. 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 Everybody. So who?
Jesus on three, Jesus on three, one, two, three. Jesus! Woo! Uh oh. We need rain. Uh oh, here we go. Touchdown. Cowboys! Only touchdown again. All right, here we go, here we go. And where would I be without you? What y'all gonna be doing? I'll be, I'll be back in my side when I need to stay. I'll be chasing every breeze that blows my yeah. way. I'll be building my kingdom just to watch it fade away. It's true. That's, That's me without you. Stepping on because there's you, and there's a very different touch that who? No, no cowboys. All right, here we go. Hey, and where would I be? Where would I be? Where would you be, Chris? I'd be. Uh oh, robots. Give me the best robot. Who's doing the best one? Who's doing the best one? Here we go. You rescued me. Cause you are mine. And I am yours. You rescued me. What? And I am yours. Forever. Not just now, but forever. Where would you be? Cause you'll be packing your bags when you need to stay. I'll be chasing every breeze that blows my way. I'll be building my kingdom just to watch it fade away. It's true. Pack them up, pack them up. Them bubbles. Don't know where I'll be without you. Pipe it up. Pipe it up. Pipe it up. Don't know where I'll be without you. All right. All right. Is it? He's here tonight. Let's give yourselves a round of applause. All right. But wait, we're missing some friends. Do you guys remember that we had a few special friends the last time we got together? Small friends that were here the last time we got together? Small friends that t spoke to us from the platform? I wonder, do we have any friends here tonight that would like to say hi? Hey guys, my name's Quentin. How are you doing? Hey, I've got more friends here. Come on up, come up guys. Don't be shy. Hey guys. <laughs> Hi. How are you guys tonight? Good. Uh, that's it? <laughs> really? I came here for that. <laughs> that that's kind of sad. Don't you guys think? Yeah, are you guys ready to worship? To give God praise. Oh, okay, okay. Boys, boys, follow me. We're gonna go. Ah! <laughs> okay, okay. Ready? One, two, three. Ah! 
What about the girls? You guys think you all can do that louder? Yeah. Okay, One, yeah, that wasn't loud chance. enough. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I think what is up with that? <laughs> Y'all let me down. We did it louder. <laughs> yeah, a lot louder. If you guys are really excited about tonight, on the count of three, we're going to yell, ah! Okay? Ready? Set. Go! You, you guys didn't listen. You said three. That is true. I didn't count to three. But it's all right. That was my bad. Follow instructions. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. I have a joke. What did the pirates call Noah's boat? Not too sure, bud. The R. <laughs> <laughs> I think they liked it. Yeah. Ah, cool. So, so listen, guys. You're listening to me, right? Yeah. Are Are you gonna listen? To the next person who comes to talk? Are you sure? Because they're going to have something more important than just jokes. Right? Right. Right? Hey, right? Right? We're going to have a move of God. Yeah. Yeah! Amen. You know what happens when, when God moves in the building? Crazy things happen? Yeah! And we jump! And we shout! And we pay attention. Sounds good. Okay. We're gonna turn the service over to our leader. Follow the leader. If we can get a big clap for him as they come up. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Actually, we're gonna play a game. So I uh -oh. need... We have a, a special game. I'm not on a team yet, but we have a, um, a couple teams coming up. We're actually going to play a game. So if they could make their way or not. How many of you guys want to see us play a game? How many of you guys like games? All right. You gotta figure out what side you're gonna be on. You can't keep flip flopping back and forth. You gotta choose a side. It's either one side or the other. There's no in between. What do you what, what do you guys think? Do you guys like that kid that goes back and forth between teams? Whoever's winning, they go to that team. You guys not like that? Do you know what? Jesus doesn't like that either. He wants us to choose his team, no matter what. Yeah. All right. So we're going to sing a song. We're going to give some praise to the Lord because he deserves our praise. He is the most awesome team leader. And look at that. Just like that, our team abandoned us. We're supposed to be singing as a team. What in the world? All right. Everybody get on your feet. We're going to sing as a group, as a unified team tonight. So you guys can stay down there. But listen. I'm going to sing part, and then you guys repeat what I say, like, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to be just like that, okay? You guys ready? Are you guys ready?
Somebody hold up the number two. Okay. In this life, you have the choice of two teams, right? So I'm going to run it down for you. So these are lifelong teams. These are actually eternal teams, meaning once you choose a team, you're on that team now and forever. Somebody say forever. forever. And you have to choose a side, right? So one option is the world. The team is called the world. Can you give me a thumbs down? All right, yeah. That team captain's name is Lucifer. Oh, boo, right? And can I tell you something? This is the losing team, right? So can you make an L? Losing team, right? Once the clock runs out on this team, they're going to gather in a place we won't even talk about. Boom. All right. But then there's another option for your lifelong team, for your eternal team. And that team is called the redeemed. That team is called the church. That team is called Team Jesus. Get somebody to get hype in the building. All right. So the captain of that team is also a king, and his name is Jesus, right? Can you guys say that name real quick? It, it, it even feels good to say the captain's name of that team, right? And once the clock runs out, his winning team is going to gather in a place way up high called heaven. Can you say heaven? Heaven, heaven is going to be an awesome place. It's going to be a magnificent place, right? So which team would you prefer to be on? The team that goes to heaven. Team, it, it seems like a no-brainer, right? It's like, well, duh, that's the team I want to be on. But I'm going to tell you a story about two people who had this same choice a long time ago. So have you guys ever heard of Adam and Eve? Yes? No? You heard of them? So they were on a good team, right? And then the captain of the losing team, what was his name? The captain of the losing team? Lucifer. Ugh. He came and he got Eve's attention. He got Eve's attention. So that was the first problem is that she probably shouldn't have given him his attention, her attention, right? He's the captain of the losing team. And she got distracted by all the things that Lucifer was telling her about, right? She wasn't focused on all the, the great things she already had. She was distracted by the things that Lucifer told her about. She did something that God didn't like, and bam, she's off the team. Can you say, oh, right? So sometimes you could be tricked. I mean, we always think, how could you do that? How could she have made a mistake like that? Well, we often have the same temptation. So on the world's team, they'll tell you, man, you can do whatever you want. You can listen to whatever you want. You can go wherever you want. You don't have to listen to anybody, right? That kind of sounds good. Let's be honest. Does that sound good? Just doing whatever you want to do? It kind of sounds like fun. But what they don't tell you is that after you've gone in all these places and after you've seen all these things, that you might feel dirty, right? After you do whatever you want to do, you might have hurt somebody. They don't tell you that part, right? That's one of the awful things about that team. Dude, their leader, what was his name of the other, that, that losing team? He even, he even tempts you to do things and then tricks you and gives you bad dreams at night. What in the world? That sounds like a terrible idea, right? Why would you want to be on his team? Sometimes we get distracted and think, oh, man, that sounds great. But it's because we don't have all the facts. So I'm giving you the facts tonight. Well, on Team Jesus, that's our team, right? Team Jesus, yeah. You can do what Jesus likes. You can love people. You can listen to the music that Jesus likes. And there's no consequences. Meaning, there's nothing bad going to come of you. You're not going to feel dirty. You're not going to have bad dreams for listening to Jesus, right? So, sometimes people will say, you know, I want to do right, but I feel like I can't. Have you ever wanted to listen to your mom and your dad and you just feel like, man, I can't do it? Let's be honest. Anybody, adults, come on, kids. Have you ever tried to do right and you're like, man, I can't do it? Well, sometimes we're trying to go and we're trying to join Team Jesus, but something heavy's on us and we're like, I can't even make it. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of like this backpack. Oh, that thing kind of heavy. It would be difficult for me to, like, worship with it, right? So what do I need to do to, with it? Yeah. Oh, pastor's not here. Sorry. That was a little heavy. I, I guess a weight is not a, I guess the platform's not a good place to leave that, right? So the Bible says that we should lay aside every weight and the sin which gets us off track, the sin that holds us back. 
So sin is like a weight, right? And we don't leave our sins on the platform. We leave our sins in the baptistry. How many of you guys were here when Brother Mike taught? How many of you guys know about baptism? What it, baptism is in Krispy Kreme glaze? It's in gravy? It's in water in Jesus' name, right? We go under the water all the way down, 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 get all that sin off of us, and we come back up. That weighty, heavy sin stays in the water, and we come up with no more hindrance. It's like, oh, I can go on, I can get, I can make it to Team Jesus now. All these weight is off of me. That's what I'm talking about, right? Right? But it doesn't stop there. Because sometimes you get that weight off of you, and you're like, man, I still struggle. Like, I feel free, but I still do things, and I don't understand it. Well, there's something else that's available to you, and it's called the Holy Ghost. What's the Holy Ghost? It's God's spirit living inside of you. And whenever you receive God's spirit inside of you, he takes control of your tongue. He makes you speak in tongues, right? And then when you stop speaking in tongues, he continues to help your tongue. Isn't that cool? And he helps you do a lot of other things. And he helps you not do other things. Because once you have the Holy Ghost on the inside, you have a helper on the inside. Doesn't that sound great? Forgive them, Lord. They didn't mean to halfway say yes. They really think that it sounds great. Does that sound great? All right. So, in order to join Team Jesus, the first thing we have to do is give up our old team. Can you be on two teams at the same time? So, in order to renounce or give up our old team we have to do what's called repent can you guys say repent Repent. to repent means to just say i'm leaving that team i'm following team jesus when you repent you say lord i'm sorry for all this stuff i'm sorry for all this heavy sin i was carrying around wait what what is sin sin is anything that god doesn't like so for instance God doesn't like lying, so lying is a sin. God doesn't like killing, so killing is a sin. Well, I'm not going to kill anybody. But if it's a sin, then I'm not going to watch it either. Is that right? What do you guys think about that? If it's a sin, then I'm not going to listen to music that talks about it either. See? So, yeah, that's why it's important that we have the Holy Ghost inside helping us and that we drop off all this sin because there's so many ways to, without our knowledge, slip back onto the other team, right? So what we're going to do right now, all of us, even if you've already chosen your team, we're going to repent. Even if you have the Holy Ghost, even if you've been baptized, repentance reminds you, reminds Jesus, and reminds this guy whose side you're on, right? So if everybody could stand up, As a group, we're going to all make a decision, refresh our decision to join Team Jesus. We're going to say, Jesus, you guys can repeat or say your own prayer of repentance. Jesus, I'm sorry for anything I've done that you didn't like, whether I knew it or not. And I'm going to try really hard not to do it again. And I know that you're going to help me. And I'm joining your team. In Jesus' name. So what we're going to do now, we're going to come up and pray. And you've, you've, you've already told the Lord and this guy whose team you wanted to, to join. And you've repented and you've dropped down and you've you know, turned off all those things. So you can get the Holy Ghost. Right? So in order for God to fill you with his spirit, you have to make it up in your mind and you have to repent. Right? So how many of you guys do not have the Holy Ghost in this place? Children? Adults? It doesn't matter. All right, so you guys can come up, and we're going to pray. We're going to pray together, and we're going to ask God to fill you with his spirit tonight because it is so important to have him on the inside. The Bible says that we must be born again and to get into that gathering place when this eternal battle is over. So more than just now, these teams are eternal teams. So we're going to pray. How many of you guys said you didn't have the Holy Ghost? If you come forward, we're going to pray with you. If you guys will see the kids coming forward. We're going to pray with them. We're going to ask.